Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to hide notes, rests, and other elements within MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you'll want to have MuseScore open. In order to hide an element, something like a note or a rest, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to highlight the note. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that um, I can select the note. So there I selected the G. And you'll see over here on the inspector element on the right hand side, you, the first uh, you know uh, characteristic is visible and I can just uncheck that. And now you'll notice that that first note became invisible. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you can see this a little better. So again, uh, that first note is kind of grayed out. And so that means that that note will now be invisible. Uh, now, but you'll notice that the bar line is still showing. So what I need to do is actually select the bar line. So again, I'm clicking on the bar line. And now you see the inspector element again is on the right hand side. If you do not see the inspector element, go up to view and then uh, you can uh, press F8 or you can just click on inspector and that will bring up uh, this uh, inspector um, element over here. So now uh, again, I've got that selected and I can click visible. Um, the shortcut for uh, making something uh, visible or invisible is V as in Victor. So I can just click V and you'll see it made it uh, visible again. So now uh, I have hidden the uh, quarter note. Now, in order to uh, you know double check to make sure something is actually hidden, um, you will want to go ahead and save it as a PDF file. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File and then Export, and then Export as a PDF file. And then it will choose uh, the location for the file. And then I'm going to go ahead and find that location. And there's the score. And once I open that up with uh, reader. So you can see that first note is uh, not uh, visible. So I basically, in, in essence, I was able to hide uh, the note in the score that you would, you know, print up and, and give to performers um, or whoever is uh, going to be looking at your score. So again, let's go back to MuseScore. So that's how you can hide a note. And the same is true for any other element that you see on your screen. So, and again, when you're selecting, make sure that you're in just selector mode. If you have the N selected, that's note selector. If you do that, that's just gonna add notes. So make sure that that is off so that you can uh, make sure you can select what you need to. So let's say I wanted to select this whole rest. Again, once you select it, it will show up in the inspector element over here and then the same, the same process again. So I can press V as in Victor or click on visible. And now you can see the uh, whole rest is hidden. Um, I'm going to do this with other elements on here. So I've got a couple uh, markings at the beginning. And um, hiding something can be very useful for later. Let's say you're not quite sure um, what word you want to use to describe this. Um, but you you thought, you know, condolce was a nice word to describe how you want the performers to perform. Well, if you're not sure, you can just go ahead and select condolce and then press V as in Victor. And then now I have that hidden, but it's still there in the score. So if I want to uh, bring it back at any point, I can kind of think you know, see how my process of thinking was when I was uh, creating the piece of music. Same thing with dynamics. I'm not quite sure with dynamic. Go ahead and press V as in Victor or just press visible. It's the same process for every element. Um, I have a fermata, same thing, select it and then uh, click on visible. So again, I'm just hiding these different elements. You can do this with key signatures also. So if you, if you want to hide a, a key signature, just press on uh, the sharp you have there and then um, same thing. Um, so one other thing you want to make sure, so anything that you're hiding or, um, you know, uh, making invisible, um, just make sure that, you know, all of the elements are uh, selected. So um, let's say I'm working with this note right here, C sharp, uh, then I, I need to, you know, click on the middle of the note to make sure I get the note. Now I've got to click on the bar line make sure I get the bar line. And now I still have to click on the sharp sign and then I get that. So again, um, if you're working with a note, make sure sometimes you might need to select um, uh, several things and then in, and then hide each one of those. You can also hide complete measures. So let's say I want this complete measure, just click in the middle of that measure somewhere and it will select the whole measure. Um, you can also press shift and right arrow or left arrow and that will take over a note or two. And then once you have it selected, just press V as in Victor. And then now you can hide all the notes. Um, so that's how you can hide a selection. Again, anything is up for grabs. You've got this line here. I want to make that invisible. We've got a treble clef. Let's say I want to hide that. Let's say I want to hide the bass clef. Um, you can hide the time signature, um, all of those things. Um, anytime you want to undo something, just do Control Z. 
and that will undo anything. And you can also add, you know, hide text. So say I want to hide the subtitle, I just select it and then press V. Uh, so uh, that's the easiest way to hide something or make it visible or invisible. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available. I'll put links to those around this video. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.